hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking to you guys about the power of makeup. Nikki Tutorials had originally created this concept a couple years ago when she posted her video on the power of makeup and since then there have been several YouTubers that have followed in with that concept giving you guys their idea of the power of makeup. So that is what I am here to do. I'm here to talk to you guys about the power of makeup and how I feel about makeup. For me makeup is a way to release all my creative energy and put it into a makeup look or if I'm just really creating an eye look like an intense eye look or something you really wouldn't wear. I put all that creativity into my makeup. For some people makeup might mean hiding insecurities and lack of confidence or maybe even trying to impress someone but I don't think you need to wear makeup to hide yourself from the world. You are beautiful the way you are and I think you should embrace yourself naturally and even with makeup. We shouldn't hinder from hating makeup. Makeup should be sought as a creative outlook. It should be something where you can express your mood or if you're going to an event. Makeup is different every time depending on where you're going, your mood, everything. So just remember that makeup is a creative outlook and I want you guys to remember to love yourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and dive right in to this tutorial. I'm going to do one side glam and the other side completely natural. I don't even know if you guys can see my dog right now. He's just sitting in my lap looking at me. This is like his favorite thing to do. He likes to film with me. You say hi Choo Choo's. Hi. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive into the first thing which is going to be my Marc Jacobs Coconut Perfector Primer. This really helps to blur your imperfections. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blur away my imperfections because this is the power of makeup. So I'm just gonna take a nice flat foundation brush and I like using this to apply my skincare and my primers. And I have another one specifically for actually applying the foundation but that one's dirty so we're just gonna use the clean one. I'm just gonna apply this to the left side of my face. The left side is going to be our glam side. Alright, so now that once we have our primer set down, I'm just going to go ahead and prep it real quick with the Morphe Prep and Set Makeup Setting Spray. So I'm just going to spray that on top of the primer. And we're just going to let that sit in for a couple seconds. And then I'm just going to be taking my Lancome Ultra Wear Makeup Stick. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce the actual name because I'm just horrible with names. But it's the Tint I Idole? I Tint Idole Ultra Wear <laughs> Makeup Stick. See, I'm just horrible at pronouncing names. But I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my face. And this is pretty good coverage. I want to say it's like medium to full coverage. And we'll take it down the neck a little bit as well, I guess. So I'm just going to go ahead and buff that in with my Pure Duo Fiber Blending Brush. And then I'm just going to stipple it in so that I get a nice airbrushed effect to the foundation. And then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to press that in a little bit so that it soaks up some of the product just because it's a little too full coverage. So then we're going to go ahead and take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this is pretty dang full coverage. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that under my eyes and in my T-zone area just to hide my dark circles and highlight the rest of my face. And then I'm just going to take my brush from Beach Cosmetics and it's just a nice dense buffing brush. I'm just going to go ahead and buff in that concealer. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. And this is in the shade Translucent Light. And I'm just going to go ahead and set where I put my concealer. And we're going to bake because it's the glam thing to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my sponge again. And I'm just going to dip right into the product. And this is going to help really bake the product. Alright, so while that is baking, we're going to go ahead and do the eye real quick. And for the eye, instead of using a primer, I'm going to go ahead and use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again and just lay that down. I'm just going to go back to that buffing brush from Beach Cosmetics. And then we're just going to go ahead and set that with that translucent powder 
kind of weird just doing like half your face, but I don't know. It's pretty interesting. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows, and I'm going to be taking my NYX micro pencil in the shade Brunette. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do an outline real quick, and then we're going to fill it in with the Anastasia Pomade. So I'm just going to map out a couple dots real quick, and then we're going to create our line. And then we're just going to round out the bottom. Well, I'm pretty impressed. So now I'm just going to go ahead and go into my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I'm going to be taking my E11 brush from Morphe, which is an ankles brow brush. I do my eyebrows because it kind of just looks like I really don't have brows. I am American Indian. I am Cherokee. Being part Cherokee, I don't really grow a lot of hair. So I don't really grow a lot of hair on my arms. So I don't even have to shave my arms because it's really non-existent. I don't have to shave my legs as often. I know it sounds weird, but I really don't have to shave them as often because it's not really that noticeable. And then my eyebrows aren't noticeable. <laughs> So I just fill them in when needed. I used to be where I wouldn't even go out in public without having my brows on, at least. And I finally got to a point where I stopped, you know, wearing like foundation and stuff to work. And then eventually I got to where I stopped wearing eyebrows to work. So it really does take time, but you can love yourself. It's, it's honestly the best thing in the world is loving yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and take my MAC 248 brush. This is just a nice flat concealer brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this to sharpen up the tail of my brow. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of concealer, very tiny. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set that with some eyeshadow real quick. So I'm just gonna dip into the Cypress Umber very lightly. And I think I'm gonna mix it a little bit in with the Warm Taupe so that it's not so dark. And then just set my brows. And just comb through again. All right, so now that the brows are set, we're gonna go ahead and dip into the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Morphe E13, which is just a little bit more dense blending brush. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Tempera real quick and just set underneath the brow bone. And then I'm gonna go to my Anastasia brush that came with the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna take the blending brush side and I'm gonna dip into Warm Taupe and use that for my transition shade. And I'm gonna be focusing this in my crease. And then I'm going to switch back to that Morphe brush and just blend it out. It's nice and smooth. Then I'm going to go to the brush that came with the Royal Peach palette. And it's very similar to the matte brush that I have lying around. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this and dip into Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange. I'm going to mix those two shades together and I'm going to put that on my outer third and slowly bring it towards the center. All right, so before my camera cut out, what I was saying was is that I was dipping into raw sienna and burnt orange, and I kind of just laid the, that on my outer third and dragged it towards the center, and then I lightly brought that into the crease. And then after that, I dipped into cypress umber, and I'm tucking that into the very outer corner. So that's what we're doing right now. Tucking that in right there. And then I'm just going to go back to my Morphe brush and just blend that in a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this very small, flat, detailed brush. And I'm going to go ahead and dip into Primavera. Primavera? Not really sure how to pronounce that. But I'm going to go ahead and take that. And I'm going to take some setting spray. And then we're just going to go ahead and put that on the inner lid. And then I'm just going to go back to this Kylie brush. And I'm going to dip back into that same shade without setting spray. And just lightly dab over where we had set that down. So now that we have that top of the lid done, I'm just gonna go ahead and dust away the baking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to that Morphe brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, buff that away. And now my makeup's gonna be really sturdy and not move throughout the night. And then we're just gonna go ahead and dip into some contouring. So I'm gonna be taking the Kat Von D Shade in Light Contour Palette and I'm gonna be taking the shade Foreplay. And I'm just gonna be taking this large fan brush and contouring my face. And what this is doing is we're just enhancing the shadows of our face to give us some dimension. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this brush from Kat Von D that did come with the Shade and Light Contour Palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in. 
And then if you want to go ahead and clean up the contour, you can go ahead and take the banana shade from the contour palette, and this is called Lyric. Or you can go ahead back in with that translucent powder and just straighten up the contour. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of Lyric and just dust it under my eye to add some brightness to my face. And don't forget to contour your nose. So to contour my nose and make it look a little more slim, I do use the E15 brush from Morphe. And this is just a nice, small, detailed, in my opinion, it's like a small, detailed contour brush. So that's what I'm going to go ahead to use to contour my brush. All right, so we're just taking that shade 4 plate from the Kat Von D palette and just contouring the nose. And then we're going to go back to Lyric, clean it up a little bit. And then I'm going to take Lyric again, but lightly. And then I'm going to use it to buff in the contour shade. And then I'm also going to use it to clean up. All right, so now that we have the nose contour done, it's like so weird just like seeing half your nose contoured. But I'm going to go ahead and take a blending brush from Beach Cosmetics. And we're just going to go ahead and do the lower lash line real quick. So I'm just going to go ahead and dip into Warm Taupe. And drag that towards the center. And then I'm just going to take a more smaller angled brush and dip into Cypress Umber. And we're just going to tight line that lower lash line and just focus that on the outer corner. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my MAC 212 flat brush and um, flat detailed brush. I think that's what it's called. I'm not positive. I'm so horrible at remembering these names. But I'm going to go ahead and use this to do my eyeliner. And I found like this brush is really like helpful for me in a sense on doing my eyeliner versus the smaller angled brushes. It just really saves me a lot of time and gives more precision in my opinion. Really hoping I can execute this well on camera because I'm horrible at doing eyeliner on camera. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this off camera because I feel like it's just going to turn into a hot mess. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and tight line my eyes as well. So I'll be right back guys. Alright, so I went ahead and applied my eyeliner and my mascara off camera. So we're just going to go ahead and do the lashes real quick. And I'm going to be using the Studio Effect Lashes from Ardell. I'm just going to use the lash glue as well. Just because I ran it out of my favorite lash glue. So we're just going to go ahead and use this. I'm just going to go ahead and coat the lash. We're just going to let it sit for about a minute. We're just going to go ahead and apply that. I always have like the most difficulty getting that inner corner down for some reason. So I'm just going to add a little bit more glue. All right, so while that inner lash is just drying down, I'm going to go ahead and apply some highlighter. And for highlighter, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Glow Kit by Nicole Grow. And this is honestly my favorite highlighter palette. I'm so obsessed with it. So to do that, I'm going to be taking my highlighter brush from EH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to go ahead and dip into Glow Glitter and mix it with Forever Young. And we're going to go ahead and apply that. Seriously, so obsessed with this palette, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the last step, which is the lips. So I'm going to be go ahead and taking my Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. And we're just going to go ahead and apply that to the left side, of course. I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face real quick. So I'm just gonna use two different mists real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I really do enjoy using this skin mist. It just really adds that dewiness to the look and I love it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face one more time with the Morphe Prep and Set. This is my completed look for the power of makeup. Honestly, I just want you guys to remind yourselves to say, I love myself every day. And remember that makeup is a form of art and it's to express creativity and mood and expression and whether you're going to an event or not. So just remember that makeup is self-expression and you don't need it to make yourself feel less insecure because, because you love yourself. So if you guys liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe subscribe button down below because I do post new videos every Sunday and Wednesday for you guys. So make sure you hit that subscribe button before you click out the video. You guys have an amazing day and peace out. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. All right, in this video I'm going to be doing a full beat drugstore glam tutorial for you guys.